Hey, back so soon. Kevin Cooper turned up and ruined everything. He wasn't bullying you again, was he? No, showing off his BMX. I just persuaded Phoenix to come back here and let me help him with his homework. Nice work. And then he ditched me as soon as he got a better offer. You know, I had a boyfriend who did that to me too once, except it wasn't a BMX, it was a BMW. We were on our way to lunch and we walked past this really swanky car yard and he couldn't help himself. He said, you go ahead and order, hun. Half an hour later, I'm sitting at the restaurant table tapping my fingertips and who do you think drives past, taking the latest model for a test drive and he had the gall to toot and wave at me. It's not the same. Why not? You said he was your boyfriend. I haven't even got that far. <sighs> yeah, well, boys can be a bit dense. Phoenix probably didn't realise what a big deal it was for you seeing him today. No kidding. Where's Phoenix now? Still at the skate park, probably. And you did say that he wanted you to help him with his homework. So you'd better call and arrange a time to do that then, hadn't you? Tell him that you'll feed him too, that usually works. I really must apologise on Isaac's behalf. I'm sure he wouldn't think to. Sorry? His behaviour in theatre this morning. It went beyond rude. It was cruel. Oh, I think he thought he was being funny. Forget it. Who's this? I really shouldn't say anything. I know he's a friend of yours. Isaac, I guess. What's he done this time? Uh, nothing unusual for him. Yeah, he's a cocky little so-and-so, isn't he? I'm glad you agree with me. Yeah, go to the territory. Can't be short on confidence in that job. Confidence, I can understand. I draw the line at arrogance. Have you talked to Chris? I've tried. More than once. I'm afraid my respect for him has taken a tumble as well. Oh, you think he's only backing Isaac because they're related? It's blatant nepotism. I wouldn't trust Isaac to cut up a dead frog, let alone a human being. You know, he almost lost a patient last week. He was out of his depth. Do you mind? I could hear you halfway down the corridor. By the way, last week's patient, the young girl, alive and well by all accounts. This morning's hip replacement couldn't have gone more smoothly, ignoring the slight distraction of my anaesthetist doing his tragic best to seduce my circulating nurse. Word of advice, next time you try that, don't lead out with a naked locker room encounter with her ex-husband. Talk about wrong signals. Listen carefully, I only have a minute. Maya's parking the car. I said I had to run for the loo. Fascinating. She's going to ask you to have lunch with us. She thinks we made up last night. How did you get that idea? From me. I wanted to cheer her up. And get yourself back in her good books, I bet. Well, I hope you don't expect me to go along with your lies. Maya is going to walk in here any minute, smiling. Do you really want to be the one to pull the rug out from under her? What do you want me to do? Slap on a smile and pretend that we're all buddy-buddy? Would it really hurt that much? Morning. Hi. Did Nicole tell you about lunch? She mentioned something, yes. Nothing flash, just the three of us in the cafe, but it's my shout. Why? To say thank you for yesterday. I know it didn't turn out the way either of you planned, and I'm sorry that I got all grumpy on it. Apology accepted, but that doesn't mean you have to buy me lunch. Me neither. Gosh, you two agreeing on something. Well, it's tough because I'm paying, and that's final. Just tell me you'll be there. Of course I will. Yay. It might have to be a late one. Is two o'clock okay? Thank you. Did you bring your homework? I tried to do some of it last night. I bet it's all wrong, though. I'll give you guys some space. Would you like a juice, apple or orange? Orange, please. Me too. I'm not sure I want to show you. Too bad. You have to. Uh, this is the one I really didn't get. You got halfway there. Why'd you stop? You mean that was right. Now you just have to figure out what goes here. How do I do that? Think about it. If X is 12, then that means... Mr. Harris is prepped for theatre. He'll be first on the list this afternoon. Brilliant. You'll be with Vassar again. I hope that's OK. Why wouldn't it be? I know she can be a bit prickly. Well, compared to some people, she's a joy to work with. Look, tell me you got the revised schedule. Thank you. I see you'll be filling in for Chris in this afternoon's bank art repair. Is there a problem? I have to say I'm surprised. Take it up with Fredrickson. He's the acting HOD. I may have to. 
Don't take this personally, but he seems to be mistaken about your level of experience. If you don't want to work with me, find someone else that does. How do you get to be so good at maths, anyway? I'm not. I just learned a few ways to remember stuff. I'm useless. You are not. You didn't even need help with those last three. Are you following us around or something? I saw you come in from the other side of the road. That's a yes. Do you want to come back to my place and kick a ball around? He can't. We're waiting for food. Oh, what did you order? Nachos and milkshakes. It's my reward for not completely screwing up my maths homework. Have you done your maths already? I wanted to get it out of the way. Yeah, good call. <laughs> More time for soccer. I don't know if I can. Hey, you eat. Oh, wait. Uh, two milkshakes, one chocolate, one vanilla. That's us. Does he know you have a crush on him? I have not. He's not into you, eh? Can't you tell? Thanks. Bring on the nachos. I'm starving. Careful. You don't want to ruin your appetite. You have a big lunch to look forward to. I'm not even hungry. What's the matter? Guilt getting the better of you? I tried to say sorry last night. You walked out on me. I mean, guilt about lying to Maya. I had to tell her something. Anything but the truth. And what would that be? Your mother hates me and I don't know why. Hate is a very strong word. Close enough. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for some cutlery that's gonna walk about from the cafe. Stray looking knife right there. Probably one of yours. Yeah, I think it might be. It's not as if I nicked it, it was in the drawer. Yeah, with half a dozen others, probably. So you think I'm a thief now, as well? Hi. Hope you're saving some room for lunch. That's what Yvonne just said. Would you like half? No, thanks. I'll save it for later. I'm making tea. Who wants one? Not for me. I better get back. See you at lunchtime. It's nice to see you two getting on again. Yeah. No tea for me, either. I'm saving myself. Man, what was that about? What? Those two. They were staring daggers when I walked in. Then they started sniping at each other. Just when I was getting ready to knock their heads together, you show up and suddenly it's all lovey-dovey. Really? Maybe I have that effect on people. 